All, All right, Ashpreet, you know, I want to bring in, I want to bring in our other uh, panelists and then I'll come back to you for comments. Ashutosh, political analyst with us. Ashutosh, how do you view this uh, political rally today in light of what we've seen, you know, suddenly a machine that was puttering is now, you know, one announcement after the other. Uh, you had the Bharat Nyaya Yatra, now this rally. The biggest takeaway, like my colleague Sahil also pointed out, in terms of the language, at least it's the India language, India alliance language. You had a, Mr. Kharge who spoke to the cadre and spoke about the importance of the alliance and actually working towards the success of this alliance and not just the party. You're on mute, Ashutosh, if you'd unmute yourself. Uh, uh, yeah, Preeti, I think we have to understand this, that the Congress, which once was a colossus and has ruled uh, uh, India for more than 50 years, uh, is is now no longer the hegemonic party. It's a uh, it's an underdog in this election, and uh, as an underdog, uh, it is uh, from the political point of view, it is important for them to seem to be challenging uh, the Bharati Janata Party, which is which has become the hegemonic party now. So uh, it is audacious that they they plan to start their campaign from the Nagpur itself. This shows two things: one, that uh, we are not scared of BJP, we are not scared of of of, of RSS. And we want to take uh, the battle to the RSS pitch. And secondly, this is also a ch an ideological challenge posing to the to, to the to the RSS in that in that sense. Because Rahul Gandhi and the Congress has been saying for a very very long time, and especially since the Bharat Jodo Yatra, that the fight with Modi is uh, is not a fight only with the Modi, but the fight with the BJP is basically a fight with RSS and and the RSS ideology. And in their opinion, the RSS ideology is a divisive ideology. So they want to give a, a sense to, to their cadre. They want to give a sense to, the, to their voters that, BJ, that, uh, that the Congress party is not feeling shy of fighting uh, uh, the BJP, RSS and Narendra Modi. And that is why it is important for them to choose uh, Nagpur as a, as a venue from where to launch their political battle for 2024. But, you know, Ashutosh, don't you reckon as you, you know, uh, we say it's audacious. Uh, in a way, yes, you might say that, but it's also foolhardy because this kind of language, like you also pointed out, has been used by Rahul Gandhi and the Congress for a while now. It hasn't cut any teeth where the voters are concerned. No, I, I, I don't bite, bite that, that argument for the simple reason, because, uh, yes, Congress has lost election in North India, but they still retained 40% vote share, which is a pretty big, uh, big vote share in that sense. They had one in Himachal Pradesh, they had one in Karnataka, they had one in uh, in in Telangana. So it's not that the party is is out of sync completely with their with their voters. And if the if the people in Karnataka has given an overwhelming majority in Karnataka and they had uh, given mandate. Uh, to Congress party in Telangana, and they were fighting against uh, a party which is very well entrenched in that particular state, that is that is the uh, uh, mm -hmm. BRS. So it's not that everything is lost by the Congress party. Yes, they lost Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Chhattisgarh, but they lost because of their own. Uh, uh, I will not use the word stupidity, but because of their own uh, own problems. Uh, okay. that, this shows that despite losing battles in these three states, they have managed to not only. Uh, keep their 40% vote share, but also in, in a few states, in, in, in a state, they also increase their vote share. But yes, in election, in the first pass process of winning election is everything.